Welcome back. I'm Andrew, your crypto guy on the internet. And we have witnessed the largest cryptocurrency collapse in history, with Luna and its stablecoin, UST, being subject to a coordinated outside attack that has all but destroyed the project. So first, a little background on what Luna is and how it works and what makes it unique. Luna has an algorithmic stablecoin, UST. UST is, is pegged to $1 in value at all times. On the other side of this seesaw is the Luna token. And they balance each other with either burning or minting to maintain this balance. Now, Luna has a whole ecosystem of things built on top of it. And UST has an anchor protocol that's paying out a 20% yield. So it's like a self-sustaining environment of everybody making money. And to back up this Seesaw system, Doquan, the leader of Terra Labs, uh, has $3 billion worth of Bitcoin to restore balance if needed. Like, let's say the algorithm gets overloaded to one side or the other. Doquan could spend some of that $3 billion in Bitcoin to buy one side or the other to restore the balance. And so what made it extra unique was that other stable coins are backed by fiat, U.S. dollars. But Doquan went, well, the U.S. dollar is at the highest inflation rate it's been in 40 years. You know, I don't trust the dollar. I see it as a dying thing. I trust Bitcoin more than the U.S. dollar. So I'm going to back up my stable coin with Bitcoin. Because cryptocurrency is trying to be an alternative to fiat currencies. And so it was a risky move, but the cryptocurrency um, world as a whole uh, applauded this. They liked this idea. They're like, hey man, that's ballsy, but I like where you're coming from. You know, I believe in Bitcoin too. And so Luna was skyrocketing up to $120 at one point, And then even down to $100 when everybody else was really dying, Luna was still doing great. Because of this balanced concept that's backed up with Bitcoin, the strongest crypto in the world, right? Potentially the best reserve currency ever. And so everybody's really confident in Luna. But then the anchor protocol, specifically in the curve pool, was subject to a coordinated outside attack where a ton of money was pulled out all at once. And then both sides of the seesaw were shorted to hell. And this caused retail investors to activate all their stop limits, and it caused the price to boom, 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 like flash crash down to almost nothing. And so Doquan sees this and goes, oh, shoot. So he sells Bitcoin, and he tries to buy UST and Luna to stabilize the price, which actually worked for a couple hours. But the attacks kept coming. And then it was like a, like a robot automatic attack that as soon as he put money into the system, it would be stolen right out from underneath the bottom of it. And uh, this was compounded with a Twitter FUD campaign of all these duplicated accounts that kept spreading more and more fear around Luna, which uh, exacerbated the sell-off even more. And so UST, here look, it's always been a dollar or like a fraction of a penny above or below the dollar because the algorithm is working. And then, boom, all the way down to 60 cents. And uh, let's see if we can go on like the five minute and see this fight play out. Look, this is the flash crash. This is Doquan trying to bring it back up. Flash crash, Doquan fighting it back and forth. And every time it goes up, Doquan's dumping more money into the project to try and save it. And uh, every time it goes back up, it, a, a fresh wave of attacks happens, and he's just losing all of his money, okay? So at this point, Doquan has stopped spending his Bitcoin. He still has some left, and he's going, I have to patch this hole up, because right now it's like a boat with a bunch of holes, and it keeps filling up with water. I can try to get the water out, but more keeps coming in, and I'm just burning everybody's money trying to fix this. So he's just going to let this fall. He's going, not, not dead forever, but he's going to let the attack play out, let the dust settle, and he's going to rebuild it better than ever. That's what his plan is right now. He's like, I'm not going to blow all of our money on this. I'm just going to let it fall, and then when the bad guys leave, we're going to fix it and make it better. <laughs> okay? 
So this has caused some um, some narratives out there. One being Do Kwan is a, a pyramid Ponzi scheme. This is a rug pull. He's screwing us. That's not what this is because Do Kwan and his team were attacked from the outside. This is not like a Ponzi scheme where the guys up top swindle everybody, steal the money, and disappear. Um, they're losing their money too. So like they're trying to save the project from an outside attacker. Okay. Now we already have some some suspects, and uh, I'm not going to get into that just for this video we'll ha we'll have to wait for more evidence but um bottom line is do Kwan's going look we're not going anywhere luna and ust are gonna they're here to stay but this is gonna be rough for a little while we're gonna patch it up we're gonna make it better than before and so uh, luna investors and ust investors have three possible ways to look at this either you sell now and you lose all your money okay from a hundred dollars to a dollar in two days. You either sell now and you lose all your money, or you wait it to go to zero and you lose all your money, or you wait for Do Kwan and his team to fix the problem and let it recover, let it restabilize. Because the algorithm will eventually restabilize the UST back to a dollar. And once that happens, um, and we've patched up whatever the problem was, Luna will come back. And I don't know if it's going to go back up to $100 real fast, but it, it could recover about half its value. Let's say 40 50 bucks. And if that were to happen, if Do Kwan and the boys fix this issue, then this would be the biggest swing trade of your life. Theoretically, you could buy a bunch of Luna right now at a dollar and wait on the off chance that they fix it and you 40 50 x your money, right? That's the degen play. But you could also just be throwing money into a pit of fire and then it's just gone forever. So, me personally, I had already sold off about 98% of my Luna position before any of this happened, which was lucky for me. But a lot of people uh, still held on to Luna, because they should have. Luna was one of the best cryptos in the world. It was like top five things you, sh you want to have. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Luna. Like, Luna's the, you want that. It's really good. Uh, but then this attack totally destroyed everything, and... So you have a huge community of lunatics that are all going after Doquan being like, dude, you need to fix this. And Doquan's phone's ringing off the hook. He's made some big friends up at the top of the heap, right? And I, I imagine he's calling everybody, and he has been, looking for help. Either financial help or, hey, send me some of your smartest people because we need to come up with a solution to this. Okay, We have to fix this problem because it's not just... Luna and UST, you have a whole ecosystem of companies and other cryptocurrencies and decentralized applications that are all built on top of this. And so when this collapses, all these other people are out of business at the same time. So really what they need to do is form a, a Justice League and come up with a plan and fix this issue so we can move forward stronger than before, right? So what, what do I advise? You know, if you didn't sell off already... You're just going to have to wait, okay? And if you want to go full degen, buy a little now and see what happens. You could look at it like this. Hey, man, either I spend $100 on a nice dinner with a girl who won't fuck me, or I spend $100 on Luna, and that might make me money. But either way, I'm losing. I'm probably going to lose my money, right? It's just what's more fun to you, right? So um, that's the way I'm looking at Luna. We'll have to wait and see. Now, Luna... And this is what affected the rest of the market so much. Luna was one of the biggest guys in the crypto world. And so when Luna collapsed along with its stable coin, it pulled down everybody else with it just by spreading like a contagion of fear. And so Janet Yellen comes out, the mushroom lady from you know the Treasury Secretary. She sees this UST collapse and goes, we need to regulate stable coins right away. And stablecoins were already the first thing on the regulation desk, okay? We were already looking at stablecoins. But now he's going, or she ha she says, we really need to figure the stablecoin thing out. And so that's causing even more fear, because what if it causes all stablecoins to just disappear or get rug pulled or destroyed by the SEC? The alternative would be, hey, look, we just put some boundaries in, you know, some healthy regulation, which would prevent something like this from ever happening again, right? That's really what they need to do is, 
is figure out what saw, what caused this problem, and we're already on it. Okay, we already have some some possible culprits to go after. Okay, um, they go look. We'll, we'll research what happened here and prevent this problem from ever happening in the ecosystem again. Okay, so that's another way to look at it, which is generally positive. So it hurts, but then you come up with solutions that make the future way better. Okay, um, and so when when Luna fell. Remember, Do Kwon had to sell his Bitcoin to try to save his Luna project, which was a failed proposition. The, the attackers were also shorting Bitcoin at the same time, along with Luna and UST. So it was like a triple attack against Do Kwon. And that's what, it's so bad that there's no real way to solve it, at least for right now. They're going to have to figure something out. But when Bitcoin goes down, as you know, all the other cryptos go down. And if you see something so big and strong like Luna and UST go down, it spread fear into everything else. Like, if look, if those guys fall, will everything else fall too? And so it's causing extra fear on top of fear on top of fear. And then we had the CPI report come out, which was not as good as people thought it would be. Now, on this channel, we knew this report wouldn't be much, okay? Yeah, so this headline makes it look horrible, but actually inflation has calmed down. It went from 8.6 to 8.3. A little bit of an improvement, okay? Stabilization a bit, right? The market was hoping for 8.1. It got 8.3, and that caused even more fear. But, you know, that half a point rate hike was just a little while ago. So we're not going to see that in this report. Now, the next CPI report should reflect that rate increase better and, um, and paint a prettier picture or a more dovish future from the Fed. It, it would be good. The next CPI report should be better than this one. Okay, that's what we said before, and I'm sticking to it. Um, but the market thought things would be better, and of course it isn't, so things are getting uh, cataclysmically worse. <laughs> the DXY is still super strong at 104, so the market overall will not do well when this is up high. And then on top of that, Putin, during Victory Day, his speech, he goes, yeah, we're doubling down, basically, we're, we're here for a long-term war against Ukraine and the West. And that scared people, too. I still have DCA buys for Bitcoin at exactly 29,000, which we're almost there. I have another one at 27,000, and I'm thinking of placing another DCA buy at $24,000 Bitcoin. That's just me. But if you have a lot of Luna, please don't kill yourself. Just, just put that away in your mind. You know, go outside for a month, come back and see what happens. Because Do Kwon and his team, it's in their best interest to save this. Okay, you got billions of dollars on the line. They want to make money too. And so they want to save this. Okay, this is their job. They go to this office every day to work on this Luna thing. And they saw it get attacked. And you can either go, and give up, or fight back. And the, the lunatics community wants Do Kwon and everybody to fight back. And I, they already are. They have a plan here. It's just going to take some time for it to uh, develop. So keep a cool head, guys. Go to work. If you have to close your phone or your computer for a month, do that. Um, I'll be here with you no matter what.